because the senior director is halfway out the door to her Kona meeting, that we move the D Senior Center 52 Church Street option to be the next item on the agenda. Seconded. Seconded. Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, as you know, the uh, town has an option to purchase uh, the property known as 52 Church Street, which is the next property next west of the town hall. Uh, a, a, uh, I believe it was October. A uh, committee of three was appointed, consisting of Gary Merrigan, Bob Crochetier, and Anne Marie Claffey, to make a, a preliminary evaluation of the Flanders property and make a recommendation to the town as to whether or not that uh, the town should exercise that option. The option expires uh, at the end of this month. Uh, we received a report from the committee today, which I'll read briefly, or I'll, I'll read it into the record as quickly as I can. Uh, feasibility Resu Review 52 Church Street, dear selectmen, based upon your request of a feasibility review from Gary Merrigan, Bob Crochetier, and Amory Claffey, for a preliminary evaluation of the Flanders property located at 52 Church Street, as to whether or not this parcel of land could be a potential site suitable for a new senior center, we want to be clear that we are not a building committee. We were called upon based upon our knowledge of real estate development, construction, and the needs of the senior community, we therefore submit the following. Uh, the subject parcel alone is not large enough to be considered as a viable option. The possible acquisition of the church property to the south could allow for the combined area to facilitate a building the size of approximately 11,658 square feet comparable to the current center. Uh, parking, the current topography of the town hall parking lot would need to be addressed due to the steep grade currently existing and would not be easily accessible for seniors to access. This condition could be addressed with a retaining wall and regrading. Secondly, a parking analysis needs to be completed to show the new center parking would be sufficient. The ability to house the current fleet of senior center buses would be needed, would be a needed consideration on site. In conclusion, we feel strongly that a campus setting adjacent to town hall is desirable. The above mentioned concerns would not be included, so we, I'm sorry, the above mentioned concerns would need to be included, so we have a senior center that not only meets today's needs, but is sufficient for the growing needs of the town's senior population. Uh, also, I, what I've attached for the selectman's benefit is a sketch of the landscape architect formed a uh, consultation with the architect of the possible siting uh, of how a senior center of the appropriate size could be located on the site. I will note for the record that the, that the building extends onto the property to the immediate south, which is currently not within possession or control of the town of Windsor Locks, although I've discussed it with members of the church and they're in favor of, uh, uh, they look favorably on transferring that property to the town so this could be completed, largely because there's some significant benefits to the church in terms of access to their own building and parking. Currently, they, uh, at no cost to them, they use our parking lot for their Sunday services. This would make accessibility even better for them and assure them even closer parking. Um, but we have not got the official word from the church or we don't have a, an option to purchase or to acquire. Uh, there's been no money offered, I will say, um, to get that property. Also included is a, uh, an analysis of the space needs for the new facility, and that is, that is a, approximately 11,658 11, square feet, which is done based on an assessment by the architect, similar to what we talked about with the, 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 the uh, public safety facilities, and it was determined that 11,658 would be a, an appropriate area required. So that's what we have. We have, um, not, oh, for some reason I'm not getting half of this document. I don't know. Okay. The packet I picked up from the office did not have this stuff in it. You got it? I got it. Yeah. So somebody doesn't like that last select. <laughs> it's that second envelope right? mailbox. On a need to know basis. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm on a need to know basis, right? I don't need to know. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. No, I'm not. It's okay. Yeah. I just. So um, it seems to me that the process from this point is for this board to decide whether or not. We would recommend, based on this recommendation, recommend exercising the option to get this in front of the Board of Finance as quickly as possible, because obviously our opinion is of little value if the Board of Finance doesn't agree to uh, an expenditure. 
And uh, then we would have to get a town meeting schedule uh, to seek the approval um, of that acquisition uh, before it could, we could close. Um, the, uh, we have a very relatively short time in which to do that. And um, so, you know, if we're going to do something, we do it now. Or the other option is to approach the seller, the family, and see if they would be willing to agree to an extension. I hesitate to do that because they've been so patient with us in giving us these three months uh, for power long it's been um, now, but that might be, it's, it's, it's an option, it's something we could ask. Um, I mean, it's, it, I, I, honestly, I, I find the report a little bit confusing, yeah. uh, personally, <laughs> because on the one hand it says that a campus site is, is desirable, how they were. Yeah. Be, uh, we strong. We feel strongly that a campus setting adjacent to Town Hall is desirable, so that part seems to be favorable. But they've got these two unknowns, which is can we get the church property, and how many parking spaces do we need to uh, to make sure it works. Um, so I don't think we have. I mean, it's not a it's, it's not a clear cut. Uh, I mean, I think they did what they could with the situation, but we don't have a clear cut recommendation one way or the other. I mean, a senior center is a, a, a very hot topic item. There's a, a lot of people that have ideas and everything like like that. I, so my opinion off the get-go, reading all this tonight, is one, I, I do think we should approach the owners of 52 and see if we can extend the option um, so we can do more due diligence. But secondly, if we can get that, then I, I'd like, or if we could, to call some type of a, of a public hearing and bring the public in and see what they think of the property here as well. Um, you know, do they see Church Street being viable for them, or would they like to see it? Maybe they come up with a different idea. Maybe they see it, you know, somewhere else uh, in town. But I, I think, you know, to put everything forward right now, well, one, I, we don't even know if we can acquire church properties or anything like that. So, but I, I think it's important that we we involve the public and, and get their opinion on on what they. They, they think of a senior center, you know, maybe maybe half the room will show up and say, oh, we want to stay where we are. I don't think that'll happen. Uh, maybe five people will. But um, uh, but I think it's important that we that we involve the public and, and see, see what they think. And, you know, we could all be on an agreement on, on Church Street, but we have this meeting with, with the residents and they completely dislike the idea and we've gone through, you know, different steps and, you know, we'll find out at a public hearing if, if they think the Church Street property is, is something that you know, they have an appetite for or not, that's my opinion. We have at least one member of the committee here. I think there's only Bob here. Yeah, no, no. And, uh, Gary, Gary was going to try and stop. Yeah, we, um, we can put Anne Marie right yeah, on the hot spot. Put on the spot. I, you know, I'll say that this, uh, based on my individual conversations with committee members, you know, um, the uh, this is not the report I expected. So um, I'm just curious if you got any thoughts on it. And uh, Well, I think... Uh, uh, first of all, I, we've talked about how it's the, the whole campus setting would be a really an ideal situation, I feel, being um, this close proximity to the uh, senior center. Things that bothers me, just from my standpoint, because I'm getting older and stairs and broken elevators bother me. Okay, so um, a two-story senior center is a concern of mine, just as an idea. It's not an ideal situation at least from my standpoint. But I'm not an expert in this, Marie. So I'm looking at you and saying, is this something that 15 years from now is still going to be viable for you? Well, that's, that's, I can't answer that. I would like to could say it is, and that's how it would really work for it. Two story, we did look at an option for the one story. I don't know if that's completely off the table. Is that completely off the table? With the acquisition? No, one the story would be turned, the, this building would be turned sideways and face the long side would face Church Street, but that would eat into about half of the parking. So that was not looked at as a favorite. Part. So because the site to me, I mean, again, Chris, I'm not a builder, and I don't, I, you know, I'll, I'll rely on your experts, but the site seems very small to me for the size building that I think we need. But I'm, again, I'm just not sure, Chris. I don't know if we've done enough work on this yet. I would be in favor of asking the family for an extension so we can get more information, and I think we should take some public input on this so that we're not uh, just so going down and saying we're we forcing were to, this issue. Let me see if this looks satisfied, or uh, getting what you guys are saying. If we were to uh, 
uh, ask the property owners for an, an, an extension if they were agreeable. And I'm not sure that they will be under the circumstances, but if they were, um, would if we were to get a affirmative commitment from the church, uh, conduct a parking assessment by a reputable, you know, firm that that, that could uh, you know can conduct that for us, and to hold at least one public hearing before you know we make a decision. Would those three things get us closer to yeah, the point where we could make a decision? It would definitely get me closer. Right. Yeah, if we can have a public hearing and, 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 and you know, get the, get the temperature Listen to what the residents. people want to. Yes, yeah, so I think that's really yeah. important. Scott, that, you know, Scott did bring up a good point about two floors, too. And, and that's where my head goes a little bit. Maybe that maybe it's not the, the, the perfect site. Maybe the perfect site does. I mean, we do have the, uh, uh, what was it, the Italian Progressive Club? APC, yeah. Well, yeah, but the, our engineers told that's not suitable for well, and, or the we building not, itself. The not building itself, for but the land right. may be, you know, it, you know, there could be a couple of options out there. I mean, I think ultimately what we got to do is, you know, this could be one, and then, you know, a single-story building probably won't fit there. As you said, it's going to eat up some parking, but um, it'll be interesting to see what the public hearing says. And I could be wrong. Um, you know, I'm a couple of years away from probably having to I use think the, the senior big, center. The big draw. Here and what, what, what caught my attention early on, and I think what, not to speak for Amory, but what caught Amory's imagination as well, is the uh, the fact that it's it's tied in to the downtown area and the town hall area. A remote site is just, from my opinion, and I think Amory's not as preferable uh, to a site that's tied into where where all the action is. The seniors want to be where the action is, so that's what made the site attractive. Um, so at this point, if you guys are comfortable with doing so, yeah, my thing on the, the public hearing is that we have, a, have to have a town meeting anyway. So all those questions can be asked, well, depending on the whim of the moderator, I suppose. But um, in general, at a town meeting, all those questions could be asked at the town meeting. Well, I'd just rather have a public hearing before we that. make I'm a decision, Chris, rather than <coughs> forcing it down and saying, this is what we have. Ask your questions, but we're going to put it to a vote. Tonight. Okay. Okay. Well, assuming that I mean, we'll, I'm not, I'm we'll hear from the church, delay. I just, no, I'm I'm assuming that we'll hear from the church in the next couple of days, uh, which was the indicate I was hoping maybe even by tonight, um, and that we can schedule a public hearing uh, as soon as we have maybe the parking information completed. That probably could take about two weeks. You know, should we pick a date for the public hearing now? And, you know, just to, to move uh, on. Really the only, on the, yeah, the only thing that's kind of contingent on the option not expiring. Well, right, contingent expiring. on the option not expiring. No but I still, I still think it's important, even if the option does well, expire. Good point, good point. Bringing everybody out to find out what they what they possibly want is is a great. I know the hands up and, and I probably you got to ask the chairman. Yes. But there will be an opportunity for comment during the public input section at no the sense. end of the meeting. Um, but uh, you know, it, yeah, I mean, two weeks could work, but there's some work that we have to do. Or, you have to be ready to make. You have to be ready to make yeah. public. That makes sense. Too. Two weeks is our our next meeting, and we have two meetings that night again. What if we went February 11th, which is our off Tuesday? The only issue is this board of finance meets, so that big room is going to be possibly taken. They're in budget session. Mm -hmm. Mark doesn't make you disturb. Vacation that week. I'm sorry. Oh, oh you're on vacation. That week. Oh, it's a good time. <laughs> how, about, how about Thursday? February 6th. Doesn't your time expire from buying it? Yes, it would be. Well, as my thinking is if, if, if the option expires, then there's no sense having the meeting. But as Selectman Harrington correctly pointed out, we still have to solve the overall issue of what people want in a new senior center. So we probably would go forward with the public hearing anyway uh, at that point. I think that's a good, uh, good recommendation. I just want to know. It's really hard not to take your question from the public, Chris. I understand, uh, there'll be opportunity for question at yeah. the end of the meeting. It's, I'm sorry that people were misinformed that this was a town meeting. It's not. And be given, given the amount of items on the agenda, there's just no way we can take individual questions at this time. But we'll stay as long as it takes to get questions uh, heard at the end of the meeting. Um, I, I'm good with February 6th, but... February 6th? Maybe, you know, we can push very hard. If we can get the, We can engage to have the... We'll have to figure out funding. And I guess we should we parking. should just make the announcement now that the, the meet, we're trying to do it February 6th, but if for some reason we you know we can't present all the information, it's delayed. Not, 
canceled, yeah. but we'll move it to a different day so we have all the information readily available. Well, but I think we're less interested in presenting information on the six as we are of hearing from the public. Good point. Correct. Good as point. To what, yep. what their thoughts are on the subject. Excellent. So yep. I think yeah, that you know I think the six is that's a, that's that should important. be the primary purpose yeah. purpose of the public hearing. I'm still listening. So, so that's Town meetings are seven thirty. That's weird. That's true. Let's do it. Let's do it. Six p.m. 6 p.m. February 6th, public hearing. Where? Uh, it'll be here at the Town Hall and El Grasso Conference Room. Thursday. Yeah. not too much. Yeah, I show nothing in the evening of the evening meetings at night. So, uh, we should be okay. All right. I'm, I'm good. Great. And we'll table the matter until. Uh, and you're not on vacation, right? Until then. <laughs> and tomorrow I'll reach out to the property owners, to a company that can hopefully do a quick and easy parking evaluation, and to the church to see if they're ready to give us a commitment to our property. Okay? No. I don't think so. Well, we need a motion for the public hearing. hearing. Yeah, public hearing. Let's make a motion to uh, have a public hearing on February 6th six at 6, was it the 6th six. or the 4th? Oh, the 6th. February, February 6th at 6 p.m. to discuss uh, Senior Center. Second. Second in discussion. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Motion carries. Read on. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Andrew. Okay. Uh, at this time, uh, I ask that we take a three minute break. Okay. How are you doing? Thanks for coming. You're welcome. One of the four owners of 52 Church Street said that although he still needs to speak with his siblings, he's confident that they will agree to a short extension of the option agreement. So that gives us a little, a little uh, opportunity to continue to do our homework, or for the committee to continue to do its homework. Um, that brings us to... Is, is I asked when uh, Selectman uh, Harrington and Storms came on board. Thank you. Is there any other public input? <clears throat> Mr. Rulo. Russo, excuse me. William Russo, 407 Elmo Drive Town. Uh, first of all, I'd like to clarify something on this agenda. There is uh, apparently an item for the purchase of 52 Chestnut Street. I think that you have uh, misled the audience here as far as whether or not we can have a discussion of a new senior center and a new senior center complex. Uh, this is under public input. And I would like to uh, suggest that we look at building a brand new elderly facility and a brand new elderly complex. These are the people who built this town. They're the ones who deserve a little bit of payback and a little bit of, a little bit of uh, appreciation. So I am again, going to ask and suggest that the Board of Selectmen take that under consideration. Um, as far as the PD, I know, Chris, that you're a big fan of rehabbing buildings. I see Park Plaza up on Route 75. I see the old uh, Windsor, uh, I think it's Wood Group on Halfway House Road. I see a number of vacant properties that, that we could probably rehab uh, into a new police facility. Plus, I've suggested that maybe we branch out and do uh, substations now uh, to alleviate the overcrowding. I have no idea what the cost is of uh, a new police building, but I think it would be quite significant, and I think that there are ways to go without authorizing money for a new police building. And last but not least, uh, it's been brought to my attention that the town does not offer any transportation services to the elderly to come to these meetings. I would like to suggest to the Board of Selectmen 
uh, that we arrange to have elderly citizens transported here to the meeting. Obviously, they would have to give a little bit of notice in order to arrange for that transportation, but I'd like them to be able to, to come and observe and participate. And I, I, I said, that was my last, but we need to go to, we need to, go to streaming so that we can have 